Hi and welcome to the Libraries Connected YouTube channel. I'm Simon Savage and I am one of the project managers for Libraries Connected. You may also know me though through the YouTube channel Savage Reads and I'm here with a very exciting video. Who doesn't love a good list of books and a good reading recommendation. Well, I've got a list of five books that I'm going to be sharing with you today because today is the launch of the Duchess of Cornwall's Reading Room, which is all on Instagram. It's an initiative that she is doing. She's a huge lover of literature and, and getting people to read as much as possible. And she has launched this new project where every so often there's going to be a season of books released. And the idea is that you have these wonderful reading recommendations with loads of extra features about the author. You're going to have videos, you're going to have uh, just info in general and find other books that you can go and read. And it's the idea that she's had is for this to be a community reading space where people can enjoy stories, share stories and connect um, and have some fantastic reading recommendations. As I said, this all came about, I believe, because back in 2020, uh, the Duchess of Cornwall released a reading list, I think, at the start of the lockdown in spring and then another one in the summer and they both went viral and so she decided she would do more and I love the fact that this is all going to be on Instagram and uh, the Instagram account will be linked down below the hashtag is the reading room so that you can join in I love the idea of the fact that it's kind of really interactive that you can kind of get involved with so there we go I will say the list is designed to be for readers of all and um, reading abilities all over the world. So without further ado, let's get to the five books. And I was really chuffed to see the first one on this list. I'm doing them in uh, alphabetical order of author, by the way, um, because I'd already read it. So I felt like I was already part of the group straight away. And that is William Boyd's Restless. And this is a fantastic spy novel, which is all about Ava. And it's set in the 1930s going into the 1940s. She's a Russian emigre. I hope I've said that right. Um, living in Paris and she's taken on by the um, British Secret Service to infiltrate and do work for them and it is totally and utterly gripping as well as being a really interesting portrait of the time from a slightly different angle but also um, sort of character analysis of this woman who is going through so much and actually should we trust her? Should we not? And I love like books where there's potentially unreliable narrators and all sorts of secret shenanigans and things like that happening. So this is doubly recommended, um, an absolute corker to start off with. Then, now this book is a book that so many people have told me I should read over and over and over and I haven't got around to yet, but I will do, especially because I'm planning on reading all five of these books. I should say the ones that I've not read. And that is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Now, I don't think I have encountered anyone who hasn't thought this was utterly brilliant. And like I was saying earlier, this book has appealed to readers of all different genres, all different like reading types. So like a whole gamut of readers absolutely love this. Um, I think it's a thrillery slash mystery that's based on a rumours of a marsh girl that has like been haunting a particular area. It's set in 1969 and um somebody's found dead and this brings this whole marsh girl rumor to the fore and so we follow on from there but yeah I've just heard it's absolutely amazing I've heard that the main character Kaya um who um, people instantly suspect as being the murderer is an unforgettable character like you will you know you you spend time with her and you just start completely and utterly um with her and yes yeah, so I think that's going to be interesting because obviously all the locals are suspecting her but you're instantly on her side that's another thing that I really love in a good book when you're kind of on the side of almost like an anti-hero or or the wronged person um I really like books for example where you're one of the characters is in prison and they're telling you their story and you know probably they're innocent I mean they might not be and it could be all a big game with you but um yeah I just love that so really really looking forward to this one as I am, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse by Charles Mackesy. And um, this uh, you may have seen because Charles Mackesy illustrated the Books Are My Bag bag last year. And um, this has been another book that has been absolutely everywhere. It's supposed to be really, really um, beautifully well. It's beautifully illustrated. It's meant to be a really, really beautiful story. And I've heard that the different characters make up 
almost like the personalities or parts of a person. So that really, really intrigues me. Um, and it's the perfect book for all ages. So this is a book that you can enjoy as an adult. It's one that children can enjoy. And also, most importantly, it's a book that adults can enjoy reading to children or reading to each other. Because let's be honest, I'm 38 and I still love having a story read to me. It's why I love audiobooks. Um, so yeah, really, really keen to get to this one. And speaking of audiobooks, this is how I might devour this penultimate choice of the Duchess of Cornwall's. It's The Mirror and the Light by Hilary Mantel, which is the final part of the uh, Cromwell trilogy. This begins after the um, execution of Anne Boleyn and follows on from there to Cromwell's downfall. Now that's not a spoiler because it's all based on historical facts, but um, having read Wolf Hall twice, the detail in which Hilary Mantel goes into with these books is quite astounding and you really feel like you're there to the point I couldn't read the second to the end because I like Anne Boleyn so much as a historical figure and find her story so fascinating. I didn't want the, um, well, I didn't want her ending to come about basically. Um, so I will head to that again at some point before I then uh, head to this. So an absolute corking chunkster there uh, for people to get their teeth into. And also like, what I like about this as well is there's a lot of authors you're being introduced to that you can head on to, such as the final uh, choice of the Duchess of Cornwall's, which is last but certainly not least, and uh, she is one of my favourite authors. I have not read this book, so I'm really, really excited. Um, it's Alif Shafak's The Architect's Apprentice. Now, this is set in 16th century Istanbul. That is all I know about it. Now, I know that's not very helpful for all of you, um, although obviously head to your library um, and find out more on their website. I don't personally like to know too much about going into some books, and because I have read Alif Shafak's 10 minutes and 38 seconds in this strange world, which I thought was phenomenal and was uh, shortlisted for the book prize, which the Duchess of Cornwall is a patron of. Um, and I have then read How to Stay Sane in an Age of Division, which is a sort of short pocket book of power that I cannot recommend to everyone, especially with what's going on in the world right now. It will really make you feel comforted, seen, recognised, all of those things, but also give you ways in which to work on things going forward. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And um, so I love both of those. And um, I've been meaning to pick up another one of her. So this is going to be the next of Alicia Fax books I read. But I do want to go into it a little bit blind, as it were, um, and just see where she takes me on this story. I mean, 16th century Istanbul has already got me really, really intrigued. So uh, I'm looking forward to finding out more. So there we go. Those are the five books. Do try and get them from your library where you can. I know it's trickier at the moment moment with everything going on. Hopefully you will join in reading all of these. I certainly will be. And like I said, I will link the Instagram account for the Duchess of Cornwall's reading room down below. If you are joining in, do use the hashtag the reading room. That is the one that we want to get trended everywhere and get people reading. Honestly, it's just so lovely when you find a new list of books. I just get very, very excited about it. And also let us here at Libraries Connected know, as well as letting um, the team at the reading room no and the duchess um what you think of these books we would love to know in the comments down below if you read them and which one you're going to head to first all that good stuff let's have a chat and uh, we will speak to you all in another video soon so enjoy <laughs>